Hi folks. Um, in this video I'm going to show you how to make a chart and get the chart to look like one of these. Um, so I'm going to create a new chart. It's a bar chart. Dimension is geography. Um, and for now I'm just going to type in some views. Um, click OK. Click finish. Actually, in this chart, I'm going to want a couple of things. I'm going to first of all, I'm going to change the layout to custom 127, and I'm going to add another expression. So I'm going to click copy, paste, and then in here, I'm going to type in monetizable views. So now we have the, the, the start of our chart. You can see it's uh, looks a lot different at the moment so we're going to start kind of cutting stuff out of it so I'm going to go to properties again I'm not doing this in any particular order so I'm going to get rid of the legend legend's now gone I'm going to go into properties I'm going to get rid of the caption click OK there's no more caption I'm going to go across to the general tab untick show title and chart I'm going to click apply so in views disappears um, Next thing is the axis, and the I'm going to choose the make it transparent. The font I'm going to make that also transparent, so we don't want to see. We want to change this, and this makes sense later on. Calibri and um, size ten. You now make it transparent. We need it for there. So you do with both the x and y axis. Make everything transparent. Click OK. So now we're left with the bare bones. It's going to go in. We're going to go into the expression. And for some views, we're going to put in num. At the end, then we're going to put in our comma. We'll put in the formatting hash comma hash hash zero. Close parentheses, and then in the middle of this, we're going to put our set analysis, which is and um, say that we want. Only one particular country in this instance for demonstration purposes. I'm going to choose where geography is equal to my country, which is Ireland. That should be it. I'm going to copy the set analysis piece. I'm going to use that now shortly. Click apply. I'm going to go into this. The Paste the express uh, the set analysis in for the monetizable views. Um, and I'm going to put the format, which is num. And at the end, comma, two single quotes, hash, comma, hash, hash, two hash, zeros, sorry, hash, comma, hash, hash, zero, close parentheses. The expression is OK, so we're going to click OK. Now, when we Click apply, there should be only two bars, which is the views and the monetizable views for Ireland. We're now going to put in earlier on, I created uh, variables for the labels. I'm going to show you this. Click on variable, paste. We need, just need to add in equals dollar sign and then wrap the variable in parentheses. And that should say views. It's basically the reason we do that is. Um, The reason you do that is for it makes sense later on. If you want to make any changes, it's better to make just changes in the variables, especially if you have hundreds of uh, mini bar charts scattered around a, a dashboard or superimposed over an image, which is what we have here. So, for the monetizable views, we've done so, sorry, actually, I've done that the wrong way around. Um, no, it didn't. Uh, I'll just copy that and paste, and actually, the, it's called. Okay, D M B. So next step is um next step is to 
Uh, so it's it's you need to sort out the spoil, so you need to make it um change your orientation. You then need to go into presentation and the bar settings you want to say bar distance between each bar is eight and the cluster is just one. So I'm click apply. See that's changed slightly. The next thing is we created variables earlier on. So in the colors, I'm going to choose both colors. Calculated. It's a variable, and the color is format dot green blue, which is RGB zero comma sixty comma one two eight. You paste that. Okay, we click apply, you'll see that's changed. Choose a second um, calculated uh, color, which is another variable. The variable is format.pink. Okay. So now we just need to start to resize this a little bit. is starting to look the way it's supposed to look. Next thing is again in the expression for the text color you want to say format.bar again is a variable. That will make sense uh, very shortly. Format.bar format click OK. You can see we're missing the numbers, so what we have to go into the uh, values on data points. Click OK. Let's go back into properties and uh, into presentation and plot values inside segments. We just need to check the expression, which is this expression here. Make sure we pick value on data points. Click apply. No, that value should be there. Yeah, the final thing is when we make selections, this this is still here, and um, also the background. Is, we need to make the background uh, transparent. So if we show bars, the next thing we want to do is actually because we want to to add a couple of conditions where um, these scatter scatter show equals zero and If geography equals Ireland, comma one, comma zero, close parentheses. So we choose Ireland. Should show. And see over here now it's just kind of an example from earlier on, so I could actually remove this one. Final thing go into properties and um, the presentation, so you access me. Background, make the background transparent. And then in layout, final thing, untick borders, untick round corners. And we've now got one thing we need to do there then is just copy Ireland and just place it above there and point it back to the finished product. So that in effect is how to um, get a chart with, that has everything on it, minimize it, do some lots of format and get rid of uh, access colors and uh, change fonts and insert um, values inside data points and then conditionally show based on selection. So if we show this bar, we can click this button here, you can see the scatter chart you can click in here. And when we choose Ireland, we should see. 
Go back. Choose one. We should see our chart because of that selection. So the last thing for me to do is just remove the ones we've created. And that's pretty much it. Well, I hope that helps and I'll um, see you next video. Cheers. Thanks.